Good morning and afternoon. Here we are. We're picking back up where we left off yesterday after talking about how to find heights of objects with pictures. That's pretty, pretty amazing, isn't it? Man, math is cool. Everybody just say it out loud. Math is cool. Cam, say it. Math is cool. All right. So, um, we're going to just have a review day, and so I'm going to work through some of the problems, and then uh, I'm going to have another worksheet be passed out to you when you're done watching the video, and I want you to work on that review sheet um, as your homework for today, and it is for a grade. So, um, we left off yesterday um, saying there are two things for similarity that we need to know. Now, remember the symbol for similarity is this. All right, and similar objects are not exactly the same. They're just shrunk or blown up. Sorry, blown up or they're shrunk, okay? But they, they look the same, just one is maybe shrunk or one's blown up. So what are the two, two things we needed to check for an object to be similar? All right, so if you need to, look in your notes and write now. All right, so we need to make sure that the angles are the same. All right, angles are the same. And we need to check that the proportions, okay, um, are equal to the scale factor. So side lengths, all the side lengths equal the scale factor. Sides equal scale factor. All right, I am writing with the mouse, so forgive me. All right, now that our lesson is over, just kidding. All right, so angles have to be the same. And I know that's horrible, but you can live with it. Angles are the same, and sides have to equal the scale factor. So, question on this dog one. This is located on page two. So Kuma wants to use a rectangular desktop for her dog's photo, but needs to resize it. The original picture was 8 inches by 10 inches, so this is the original. I'm going to call that O. Um, and her options for resizing it are a 12 by 14 or a 12 by 15. So which one do I want to resize it and keep the same dimensions? All right, so we're going to try both of these. So we'll say this one's the new one for now. All right. First off, do you think the angles are the same? Well, that looks like a right angle, and wouldn't you believe that's also a right angle, all right? And I could go around the whole thing and say, oh, that's a right angle. Sure enough, it matches that right angle, right? And I could go around the whole thing, but hopefully you guys realize that all the angles will be the same with the ones that match up with it over here, okay? And that also goes for this, too. All right, now here's the one thing. All right, so check, could check. All right, so all the angles are the same, but here's the thing. The sides have to equal the same scale factor, all of them. So remember, scale factor, new, 14. By the way, I'm going with this right here. That's your new picture, divided by your original. The original was 10, all right? So last I checked, okay, uh, that's going to be 1.4, but we'll get there in a second. All right, now that should equal the same scale factor that this side has. So we're going to take this scale factor, which is 12 divided by 8. All right, I want you to now, all right, 14 divided by 10 is 1.4. Is that the same thing? So the scale factor is 1.4. Is it the same thing as 12 over 8? Please write down what you get. Go 12 divided by 8 and tell me what your answer is. All right. So 12 divided by 8, I got as 1.5. So the sides have a larger scale factor than the bottom. Thus, uh, not the same. 
So this, A, is not the same because this has a different scale factor um, for the sides than on the bottom. All right, well, let's check this one now. We're going to call this one new. All right, would you agree all the angles are the same as my original? Okay, they're all right angles. All right, so now I'm going to check the scale factor for the sides and make sure those are the same. So I'm going to take 15, which is my new, and divide it by the original. So what was original to 15? 10. So I'm going to go 10. Pretty easy stuff, right? Is that the same thing as 12 divided by the original 8? 12 divided by 8. All right, so 15 divided by 10 is 1.5. And like always, I want you to do and figure out what 12 divided by 8 is and tell me what that answer is. Okay, that is also 1.5. So it looks like the sides and the bases have the same scale factor. So the sides are, have the same scale factor, the angles are the same. So these two, ding, 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 are similar. Woo! Yeah! Raise the roof! Raise it! Raise it! Raise it! Okay. <clears throat> Those two are similar. All right, and that's all you got to do to check similarity. Make sure the angles are the same and that the sides are proportionate. It's a good little review, wasn't it? All right, well, let's move on um, to this. Determine whether this, these two triangles are similar. All right, so determine if these two are triangles. So do all the angles equal each other? So I'm going to say angle N. All right, is that equal? Hmm, do we have a si an angle that's equal over here to this over here on this side? Ooh, angle R. See, angle R has that same little marking. Do you see that? So angle R is the same. <clears throat> okay. Now let's go with another angle. Let's do this guy. See, this guy's got two hash marks. So angle Q, well, he's going to be the same as by George. <gasps> oh, this guy with his two hash marks. That's what the hash marks mean, guys, that they are the same. Those two are the same. So this is the same as angle S. All right. So the last angle I have is angle P. All right, angle P. So if I go angle P, do I know angle P is the same as angle T? Ooh, it's not really labeled. I mean, I just did it, but I don't know. Are they the same? Well, ladies and gentlemen, triangles add up to 180 degrees. We know that. So, if triangles add to 180, I know that if this angle and this angle are the same, then I know the third angle has to be the same because it's got to add to 180. All right? So, that's kind of a little proof we have, but we're going to say they're the same. So, P and T are the same. All right, now we got to check the sides, see if they're proportional. We'll be done. So, I'm going to start off with this. This side right here is the side that is right in between one hash and two hash. So I'm gonna find the one that's right between one hash and two hash, and that's this one. So those are going to be the same, or they should be. So I'm gonna take the new, call this my new one, and this my old one. By the way, it doesn't matter which one's the new and old unless they tell you. And I'm gonna say 10, the new, divided by the old, which is 12.5. That should be equal to, and let's take another side here. All right, well, let's go between the two hash mark and the three hash mark. So I need to find the side that matches up with the two hash mark to the three hash mark. So that should be equal to 9.2 over 11.5. All right. So that's that scale factor. And then the, finally, the last one, 
and the one that goes from three hashes to one hash. So this one that goes from three hashes to one hash. So I'm going to go 12, my new, divided by my original, which is 15. All right, I want you to pause the video and figure out what those answers are. By the way, that's a 12. Pause the video and figure out what is 10 divided by 12.5, what's 9.2 divided by 11.5, and what's 12 divided by 15. If they all equal the same number, boom, we know they're similar. Pause it now. All right, I got 10 divided by 12.5 is 0.8. 9.2 divided by 11.5 is 0.8, and 12 divided by 15 is 0.8. They are all the same scale factor, so that means they all were blown up the same. Therefore, they were similar. So similar so it says, if so, write the similarity statement. So I'm just going to go around. I'm going to say, all right, I'm going to start here. One hash. So triangle N, because I'm going to start at the one hash. Then I'm going to go over to the two hashes, which is Q. Got to do this in order. And P is similar to triangle. All right, now remember, I started one hash to two hash to three. So I'm going to go R, one hash, to two hash, which is S, to three hash, which is T. All right, you've got to go in the right order so they all match up. Sweet. All right, let's do some proportion stuff. All right, similar. All right, so here's some proportion. We did the tree problem yesterday. Let's do this. So we need to figure out what X is, okay? Now, it says these are similar. These things are similar. So I know that we'll call this my old or original, and we'll call this the new. I know that my new over my old will give me my, you know, correct statement. So I'm going to take my new, which is 10, and I'm going to divide it by my original, which what matches up with 10? Why, x does. And that should equal, all right, we've got to find another side. Now, I'm just giving you a little heads up here. I probably don't want to pick this side because I don't want another variable in here, right? So let's pick one that actually doesn't, doesn't have a variable. And I see 6, and that looks like that matches up with the one that's not quite so slanty, which would be 9. See how this one's a little bit more slanty? So that would have to go with the more slanty side. All right, I'm just going to color code this. All right, so the less slanty side, I'm going to say new, which is 6 over original, which is 9. All right, now this is called a proportion. And the way I solve these, and we did these yesterday, we did a couple, I believe, we just cross multiply. So I'm going to have 6x equals, and I'm going to cross multiply these bad boys here. And 10 times 9 is 90. 90. And I'm going to divide by 6 to solve for x now. Divide, divide, and I got x equals 15. All right, okay? x equals 15. Now, notice that's not one, that's just only one answer. I found what x was, and that equaled 15. The last question is find out what y is. Now I got to do this really fast because I got a minute. Okay, actually I'm going to write this out and pause it. Okay, so I wrote the proportion over here and I said, all right, I want to solve for y, so I'm going to use this new side and that compares with this, that's the original. And then I had to pick another side and I picked the good old faithful uh, and I said, all right, I'm going to use this one which is new over original. Now, you could pick any side, but this one has an X, remember. So I'm going to cross multiply, and 6 times 12 is 72. And that equals, now here, be careful on this, this 9 multiplies to both. So it's really 9 times 3, which is 27. Y, right? 9 times 3 is 27Y. And 9 times negative 1, which is negative 9. All right, so you can solve the rest out to figure out what y is. All right, now, I'm not going to have you do the back page. 
I'm going to have you collect a new sheet and work through that, all right, for the rest of your homework. Goodbye, guys.